Lord. He heard my cry and pity. It's hump day. Come on in. When trouble rises, I'll hasten to to His throne. Anybody love the Lord today? Anybody love the Lord? Anybody know that He heard your cry? Pitted every groan. Mm -hmm. I love the Lord today. I will not be before you long because I have to come back on Friday for live at five. You guys do know that it will be the first Friday of the month on this Friday. Dante, yes, sir. I have been praying for you. That's what I have got on for today. I have. I really have. No joke. I've been praying for you, my brothers and my sisters. But I just wanted to take a moment to talk about loving the Lord and open up. That's, that's That used to be, it still is, one of my favorite songs. He heard my cry, pitied every groan, long as I live. And trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne. I have been in a place where all I can do is tell the Lord I love him and I care for him. And I'm so glad that he cares for me. Do I have any witnesses already that love the Lord? Like, really, really? Come on. He heard my cry, pitied every groan. Long as I live in trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne. But the thing about that song, if there's no trouble, there is no hastening. We run to him quickly when there's trouble. I believe that this time is teaching us how to go to God even when we're not in trouble, just to let him know that we love him and we care and we appreciate him for just being God, just because of who he is, because of who you are, I give you glory, because of who you are, I give you praise. Jehovah Jireh, anybody know him as Jehovah Jireh right now, the one that is providing for you in the midst of a crisis? Anybody know him to be Jehovah Nisi? Anybody know him today? I don't even see any hearts moving. Where are the hearts and the likes today? There they are. He is all of that. Not because of what he does, but just because of who he is. And so I got dressed up for y'all today. Mm -hmm. I put on one of my favorite tops. I even put on earrings for you because I wanted to let you know how much I love the Lord, but how much I love you. And I kind of miss, you know, getting dressed up and getting out. But it's something about just being at home and being in the presence of the Lord. That's it. I love the Lord. Long as I live, when trouble rise, come on, Jerry, I'll hasten to to that's it somebody come on do it with me his throne and so i declared on last friday um that it would be faith seed friday let me tell you what you guys have done this is not about me this is about you it's about number one god but it's about you and i'm so glad you're here watching i will be back on friday as i stated this will be very short but friday is live at five i begin january with happy new you and a lot of people are saying well i'm not happy right now you know look at what we're going through but i'm glad that i um shared with you how to be happy with you Happy New You, not just Happy New Year. Although the year may not look happy, you can still be happy. And we started out with having a plan. Isn't that something that in January I told you to have a plan? And if we don't have a plan right about now, a lot of people are really struggling because we have to have a plan a plan, a plan ordained by God and that we have to apply the plan. The H was for have a plan. The A was for apply it. Um, the P was to pray daily. Aren't we praying like never before? Isn't that amazing that that was our slogan? Happy new you have a plan, apply the plan, pray daily, multiple times a day. Um, this week we are going to do practice what you preach.
because I skipped the P and went straight to yield not to temptation because people were doing what they want to do in the midst of the pandemic because it's hard to um, be controlled in this environment and we feel that no one can control our steps, our moves, but do we not know that obedience is better than sacrifice? And if we obey the laws of the Lord as well as the laws of the land, that we can come out safe. And we can come out better than ever before. So I declared Friday, Faith Seed Friday. I am one of those people. I have uh, uh, that entrepreneur spirit. My entire family does. And although I am an educator um, with my own personal educating business where I um, tutor students and I educate one-on-one, -on -one, it has been almost um, impossible to do it the way I've been doing it before. However, God is so faithful to allow modern technology to let us jump in and do things differently. And it's working for those that are able to continue to do it. There are so many business owners and, and ministry leaders that have been suffering. And God laid it on my heart to just ask the people to be diligent in sowing faith seeds. You guys have exceeded my expectations. I will say mine. I know that God knows all and God knows what he has ahead. There are people that said, I don't even have um, a job right now, but I believe God. There are those that said, we are dealing with some really crazy things, but I believe God. There are homes that have been affected in ways that we never expected, but God is still God. This is what you did for Cynthia Diggs Ministries. Every name that is in this jar is somebody that has sown a seed. I am over the top overwhelmed. I shared with you on Friday that the ministry hasn't been able to do all of the things that we normally do. That hasn't stopped me from ministering, but my hands have been tied somewhat. I declared a $5 faith seed. And if you would just be a blessing and you guys blew my mind. It's still happening as we speak. There are people that have been, I mean, at three and four o'clock in the morning, I have to turn my phone down because all I hear is money falling. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get away from, you know, making people think that it's all about money because some people just feel that they don't have anything to sow right now, that, that this isn't for you. There are those that I've been commissioned to help them, even in the midst of me not working. God says, you still be a blessing to others. You guys stepped out on faith. And this is the prayer jar. I didn't even ask you for prayer requests. But when you began to sow, people began to say, will you pray for this? Will you pray for that? Will you pray for my job situation? Will you pray for my marriage? Will you pray for my home? Will you pray for my physical body? And because you trust me like that, I have to continue to give you updates. I have to. I take prayer that seriously because we're going to come out better than the way we went in. We're coming out better than the way we went in. Even now, people are reaching out saying, how can I be a part in your, in your cash app, in the line, you guys are writing what you need prayers for. I'm humbled. I am humbled. Daily, I pray over this jar. And I ask God to meet your need. I know Dante was probably kidding when he said, are you praying for me? But the truth is, I really am. I really am. It doesn't mean that you have to sow a seed to get prayer. But when I pull your name out, God begins to share with me and touch my heart about the need for that particular person or that particular family. The Bible says we are to pray without ceasing. And because you guys have been a blessing unto me, do you not know that God's going to turn around and bless you? This jar means the world to me, and I'm going to continue to add to it daily. I'm going to continue to add. As the seeds are falling at dollar sign, dig, C, am going to continue to lift you up. And so I wanted to share that with you. I was saying to myself when I declared it on Friday, I said, wouldn't it be amazing? I was speaking with one of my mentees. If there were like 100 people that sold, if there were like 100 people that just trusted God on my behalf. There are those that have reached back to me and said things like, listen, you don't know how you bless my heart, how Cynthia Diggs Ministries has been a blessing to my life, how you've blessed my children, how you've blessed my church. And during a time like this, we all need encouragement. 
I live alone and I share that often, not afraid to, to admit that being single sometimes can be a little um, rough, especially during a time of incubation. I call it incubation, isolation, a time of quarantine. It can be pretty rough. There's no one here to talk to but God. There's no one to help me around the house. I do everything alone, solo. You know what I mean? D dumping the trash, cooking meals. And then when you just want to bond with family, as close as I am to my family, the closest I can get is a FaceTime or a messenger call. But when I go to God in prayer, mm, 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 mm. when I go to God in prayer and I begin to lift you guys up, I don't feel that loneliness because I'm communing with the Father. I just want you to know that when you live a life of prayer, that God will take care of you. And I take this responsibility very strongly, not lightly. There are people that said, $5? Is that all a $5 grace seed? I said, that's what God told me to do because five is the number of grace. And that is what's needed in this time. There are those of you that have gone above and beyond. I thank God for you. I bless God for you because you have no idea how many people you are blessing. Those coins are not blessing me. They're blessing the ongoing of the ministry as well as those others that God points out to me 12 months out of a year that we continue to be a blessing to. That's what For Real Ministries is all about. So yes, you are helping my life, but you're helping the lives of so many others. So, so many have had questions. I continue to get inbox messages that say, how can I sew? What can I do? What is it that I can do for you, woman of God? And when people ask, it touches me. It touches my heart. I don't know if you guys saw the post I put up the other day, Lincoln Dean, but Lincoln, there was somebody that went back 10 years and they said, you blessed my family. You gave to my family. Y'all hear the sound? There's the sound of money falling again. God's doing it again. There are 94 names in this jar already. Six more and we would be at 100. That means God is going to exceed the number that I thought he wanted me to pray for. God is exceeding the number. Isn't that what the word says he does? God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or imagine that's what he's doing. So getting back to Lincoln, I don't know why I'm calling your name. God must be getting ready to do something really special in your life. But there was a family that reached out to me this week and said, we didn't have anything. And you surprised us. You blessed us. You gave to us at a time that we were at our lowest. And now we are doing well. Now that's the shout right there. Somebody ought to say, "Woo, trouble don't last always. It's temporary that God will get you out. They said, we are doing so much better and we never forgot you. Now that touched my heart. It was like, um, Lakeisha, um, the 10 lepers when only one came back. That is what it reminded me of when the one came back and said, thank you. And when that family reached out to me this week, I was encouraged because it's been extremely um, hard on some levels for the last month, being away from my family, being away from ministry as I've known. Oh, God has given me some new ideas and some new creativity to work with. Trust me, ministry hasn't stopped. I thank God for people like my sister, Dr. Regina Spellman, who um, let me know that there are other ways to be blessed. There are that our God has not forgotten about you. I have sisters like um, Dr. Renee Hornbuckle who reach out and say, girl, how you doing? Girlfriend, what's going on? Do you need anything? I have mentees. I have my mentor. I have my pastor. People are reaching out and just saying, woman of God, do you need anything? I pray to God that's what we're doing for one another because I know that's what I'm doing. I have people like my brother Otis Brent and his wife Kimberly who reach out to me on a weekly basis and say, sister, you're on our mind. Right about now, that's what we need to be doing. I have people like Mayan Hardiman, who I have to share a whole post about what she's been doing over here, being real sneaky at my house. I have people like my son, Timothy McDonald, and his wife, who reach out to me on a daily basis to say, woman of God, our mentor, our spiritual um, mother, our executive pastor, are you okay? That is why I love God so much. Not discrediting anyone, because y'all 
have just been wonderful. Y'all have been awesome. And seeds have been sown to show how much you love God and how much you respect the ministry that God has given to Cynthia Diggs. 94 people. Think about that. Who trust God and the ministry that lies inside of me. I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed because what God is saying to me, Nia, is even at home, you still have to do ministry and you still need to be reminded of who you are and who God is. It doesn't matter if we're locked up. Paul and Silas did it and they still praise God in the middle of being locked up. And I'm yet praising and praising and praising and praising and praying and praising and worshiping my God. So today was all about another thank you. I thank you for real, for real. People are going through right now and they don't have to sow. They don't have to give you anything. They don't have to do anything at all for you. But as seeds are sown in this house, I continue to do the same. There are businesses that are simply lacking right now. I have friends that are business owners, that are entrepreneurs. And, you know, if you can just sow $5, $10, you don't know what that does to somebody. So this is not about money. This is about faith and trusting in God. That's why I called it Faith Seed Friday. Little did I know the Faith Seed Friday turned into, Lord have mercy, I trust God on Saturday. I lift God up on Sunday. I bless his name on Monday. You know what I mean? Triumphant Tuesday. And here we are on Winning Wednesday. I dare you. I dare you to trust God with $5. Dollar sign, digs, C. I love you, Candice. I love you. Who you? Love you, Mayan. Jerry, I love you. Kashabra Hudson and your family, I love you. You guys have been a rock. I love you. I'm just going through. Lakeisha, I love you. I'm getting my Starbucks as soon as I can. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. I love you guys. I'm just scrolling. I'm just looking to see Terry White. I love you. Thank you. Dr. Regina, my sis, I love you. Satina, I love you. Thank you. Bernice Miller, thank you for joining me. Love you. Love you for real. We need to share more love. Tracy Hill, I love you. Casey Stone, I love you. Lincoln Dean, I love you, my friend. Keep going. Erica Monique, I love you. I love you guys. I love you, Clemissa Williams. I love you, Danielle Harris. Thank you. I love you, Siob Siobhan. I really do. Tanya Dunn, I love you. I love you, my sis, Melanie Bivens. I love you, Toya McCulley. I love you. I love you. Otis Brent and Kimberly, I love you. Carlita Chandler, I love you. Mark Ayers, I love you. I love you. Japrice, Jen Priest, Alfred, I love you. I love you. Hey, Sharon Jackson, I love you. Mm -hmm. I love my kicks. I really do. I love you. And I'm just telling you guys, Dante, love you. Once again, Tanya Thomas, I love you. Diane Evans, I love you. I love you. Tanya Thomas, I love you. And anybody else that's watching, I love you, but I love God for real so much more. And whenever he puts something on my heart, he always makes it bigger than what I can fathom because he's bigger than what we can do. It's always better than what we think. And it always goes beyond our imagination. So here we are today with this prayer jar. I believe already because I've been getting testimonies. I had somebody tell me they didn't have cash out, but they downloaded it. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And I was their first seed. And as soon as they sold, I by shot, that God blessed them with an unexpected check. I had somebody else say that they were concerned about a diagnosis. And they sold. And God turned it around. Mm -hmm. People might not believe in the power of prayer, but I do. I prayed for things and saw an immediate turnaround. And I prayed and sometimes it took a little bit longer. But guess what? He may not come when you want him. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you to share with somebody. He may not come when you want him, but he's always right on time. And so when I pick names, I pray individually. But overall, daily, I just lift you up before God. What the world needs now is love for real, but we really need more prayer. And so I pray for you even now that God, 
you would continue to bless these seed sowers, that you would continue to bless those that watch out for the ministry, that care about the ongoing of the ministry. I lift up those, Father, that are giving, even though they may not be working. I thank you for those that have not missed a beat. Maybe you've even increased their beats, Father, and they have remembered me and the ministry, and they are sowing. Even now, God, as I shake up the names, I feel you shaking up things in their lives, and I give you the glory. I thank you for healings in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask that you would continue to keep us in good health. I thank you now that you are strengthening our minds, Father. The minds of your people, those that are fearful, those that still have doubt, Father, I thank you now that you are able, Father, to keep our minds. You said in your word that you would keep us in perfect peace. Ah, but we got to keep our mind stayed on you. And so, God, I bless you. I thank you now. And I pray increase over the lives of your people. I pray for protection, power, provision in the name of Jesus. I pray that everything is needed, that the people would have even more. I thank you for the testimonies that are coming forth, that God did it, not just again, but he did it better than before. And so, God, I thank you. I pray now that this jar will continue to be sanctified, even in the days and months to come, that I'll never forget those that stepped out on faith. God, now we believe that you are able to do a quick turnaround and we call for this virus to come to an end, not a halt, but an end. God, we know that thou art able to do it. We pray for those that are bereaved and we pray for those that have lost loved ones. We pray for them now. Saturate them, God, with your love. Touch their hearts. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Comfort your people now. I pray for those that are on the front line that have to continue to go out daily. I pray that you would just keep them, Father. Keep that shield of protection around them, Father, that they come home safe and that they do not bring anything from the world back into their home, that this virus does not affect those that are doing all they can to help others to live and to be safe and healthy. God, we lift them. We lift them. We pray for those that are working from home that just need peace of mind, that need solace, that need peace. Those that are trying to find a way how to manage everything they're managing. Those mothers that are teachers, those dads that are now parents, Father, for the moms and the dads, those that are doing all they know to do, Father, to make it through. I thank you for every 24 hours that we make it through. God, you are able and we love you today. And so we ask that every seed be managed magnified. We pray now for a hundredfold blessing. I pray for checks to come in the mail that were unexpected. I pray that people would sow. Your word says, given it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men give unto your bosom. So send some good men to pour into your people. Send some women that have it, that can share. God, I thank you now that we can continue to be a blessing one to another. We believe you and we love you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Long as I live and trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne. Do I have any witnesses today? Somebody just said, yes, I believe. Come on. Come on. I'm getting ready to get off. I got to get off. I got, I, I got some more stuff to do. Somebody just say, yes, I believe. Just say, I believe God. I believe God. It's not a tactic for you to sow money. It is an opportunity for you to trust God. I trust God for you. And I pray for you. And I pray for your family daily. I'll be back on Friday at 5 p.m. for live at 5. And we're going to talk about practicing what you preach, especially during the time of a pandemic. I love you. And I thank God for you. To worship him we live. To worship him we give. I live and you should live to worship the Lord. Thank you for your seeds. Thank you for your sacrifice. But remember to keep shelter, take shelter, stay safe, stay inside. I can't wait to see you, but I can wait to see you. And so because of that, I'll see you when it's safer. I love you, Toya.
And I can't wait to see you. That, that's it. Keep typing. I believe God. Come on. I believe God. That's what I want you to get in your mind today. I believe God. I see the news, but I believe God. I listen to the radio, but I believe God. I see the newspaper, but I believe God. I see the statistics, but I believe God. Yeah, I've been looking at the stats, but I believe God. He is able. He's able. There it is again. Dollar sign. Digs. C. I love you. Talk to you Friday.